Elon doxed himself. Two slightly different. Yeah, what the fuck? Elon, you doxed yourself. Watch out. Two slightly different angles from Musk of the World Cup. Interesting. Anyway, um, last night, while I was at the uh, OTV holiday party, okay, working, absolutely cooking, the Blau Foolish Gamers Carl Jacobs team on the beer pong table alongside my boomer squad with Will and Caroline. Okay, just giving him the works, dude. Okay. Elon Musk was busy at work banning a bunch of other journalists, including, but not limited to, Taylor Lorenz, friend of the show, Taylor. And uh, last thing Taylor tweeted was at Elon, basically saying, hey, we want to get like, you know, we have some information. We would like to hear some feedback from you, something along those lines. And then boom, blammo, gone. Any attempt to remove my tweets that link to my other social media accounts not violating any law would actually make Twitter an editorial media and no longer a social media platform with civil and criminal liability for any illegal content therein. Oh, he's he's European. He doesn't understand. In America, rich people get to do what they want. See, in America, rich people get to do what they want, including, you know, purchasing a fucking social media website and just like tanking it for funsies. In France, things might be different. But in America, rich people can do whatever they want. They can even kill you and kind of get away with it, as a matter of fact. So, you know, I know they might like, uh, I mean, I hope the EU sues the fuck out of Elon Musk for real, for real. Because God knows America's not going to do shit. But we in the EU also forced Apple to introduce USB-C. I mean, the EU also forced Elon Musk to universalize their fucking uh, Tesla supercharger stations, at least starting in Norway, right? Slated to, slated to happen all across the EU. But the problem is, in America, we are fucking Omega Cucks. My man, we... Let me tell you something, okay? We pay for pharmaceuticals that... Like, we still do not have bargaining agreements for pharmaceuticals, okay? With the exception of the VA. You understand? Like, the rest of the world doesn't do that, but we do. We're disgusting. We are grimy, disgusting pieces of shit in our, in our Congress. We have grimy, awful scumbags in Congress that will do nothing. Elon Sims literally don't understand it. Yeah. Private company, private platform, FTC isn't involved. They can do whatever they want. Like, the, this guy literally just thinks, and I'm, I'm telling you, like, this is the, the modus operandi here. He's rich. He can do whatever he wants. Like, he's basically saying that. If you're rich, you can buy Twitter and do whatever the fuck you want with it. Now, to a certain degree, he's correct. His assessment here is true. Why is it true? Well, because Elon Musk, is in the United States of America. Twitter is an American company, and the American government is incredibly cucked to corporate uh, overreach. American, the American government will do uh, whatever our masters want. They will do our masters' bidding. Okay? Taylor's on ban now, and apparently she was banned for... I mean, we know why she was banned. She was banned because fucking she pissed off Elon Musk. <laughs> like, that's it. There's no rhyme or reason for why she was banned, okay? She was banned because Elon Musk didn't want her to be on the platform. This is the tweet. Keep in touch. Apparently, this is the tweet that did me in. By the way, he's lying and saying this is the tweet that was the reason why she got banned. And then this Twitter support thing came out after. But also on top of that, 
he literally responded to someone and said, temporary suspension due to prior doxing action by his account will be lifted shortly. So which one is it? Is it prior doxing? Especially because like most of her tweets were not even reachable. It's, it is pretty fucking insane that, like, a billionaire has this level of control over his own platform. Like, this level of power and this level of control over his own platform. He owns it, dot, dot, dot. We suck the corpo tit, no other choice. Not on the EU's internet, he owns it. Yeah, but, like, what, what was it that she did docs-wise? Nothing, dude. It's just made up. Taylor Lorenz's account was suspended tonight after she asked Elon Musk for a comment on a story she's working on. This is what originally did her in. She tells me she hasn't received any information about why she was suspended, but this was her last tweet. Yeah, I talked to her last night. This is the last thing she tweeted before she got clapped. Elon Musk, David Sachs. Hi, Elon. Drew Harwell, who was also previously banned, previously banned WAPO journalist, and I sent you a couple emails about this. We've learned some information that we'd like to share and discuss with you. We're taking this very seriously and we want to ensure this is pursued in the right way. Thanks. Boom. Gone. Also... Taylor literally auto-deletes her tweets. She's, like, very careful. Ah, uh, so you banned Lorenz after this lady complained about something that didn't happen on Twitter. I'm not famous, and I wasn't a public figure either when Taylor Lorenz asked for my address, said it wasn't for publication, and then proceeded to dox me in the New York Times with the address she had assured me she wasn't going to publish. The article was shared many X on Twitter. Such shameful behavior will not be tolerated going forward. Wait, what? There is no way they just wrote her fucking... What? What do you mean? They did not write this lady's article, uh, this lady's address on the New York Times. What? And even if she, even if she did, right? Let's say... In this, like, freak moment, okay, let's say they did, right? Let's say they did, which is unacceptable in my opinion. It's from 2020, and it wasn't on Twitter. You can't ban people on Twitter because you don't like how they conduct themselves elsewhere. Like, with notable exceptions, of course. Like, if someone is, like, you know, like a pedophile criminal or something, it's this article, right? Oh, yeah. Young people come to Los Angeles with, in droves and dreams of fame and fortune. Once they're discovered, it's not always sunny. It was a former Zillow listing of a TikTok content house, not a current one. And other TikTok managers had no issue with the former content house being published. Oh, it was a link to a Zillow? That's still not... Uh, that's still an inappropriate. But there's no way that Taylor fucking posted that. It has. It has to be a fucking editor... Unless it's literally like a prior consent given by both parties. I don't know what the, uh, the, the style guide or the editorial ethics is at the New York Times. It's not exactly great. But I doubt that they would just like fucking blast someone. They would not blast someone. We did talk about this article. But I don't remember the, the, the you know, the doxing or whatever happening. Where is it? Sprawling. Lo Los Feliz section of Los Angeles with seven other target creators. Wait, what? That's not doxing. What are you, fucking insane? Wait, are they saying this is the doxing? Or are these the doxing? Is this the doxing? Collab house is like being linked. Wait, hold on. Let me click on this real quick. Let's see what the fuck. No, that's not. It's just a hype house. That's just a link to a hype house. Oh, here, here, here, here, here, here, The house itself was has been relisted for sale on Zillow. Is this it? Is that what they're saying is like the, the, the docks? Wait, there's no fucking way that they are in the house. They're not in the house. It's for sale. They don't live there. She says... Hi, it's Taylor Lorenz with the New York Times. Can someone please send me the address for me? Kids Next Door House, Drip Crib, Girls in the Valley House. Not for publication, thanks. Hi, Taylor. Not a problem. Will do. 
If you're not going to publish addresses, why would you like them? Because we need to fact check. Every other collab house has been provided. Not sure why this is an issue, but feel free to call me. To be honest, it's raising fl red flags with my editor. Got it. People can still live in the property if they're selling, but this is public info. So not ex no, I think it's... I if people are living there, I don't think they should have published it. I, I think this is an editorial mistake. I don't care. If people are still literally living there, there's no way that this is appropriate. It must, be, it must have been the editor fucking literally forcing it. Being defended by Nikki Klein. Reading those texts gives me flashbacks to working with the filmmakers on the, wa the vow. When you are reticent or ask questions, they act as if you're being unreasonable or sketchy. What? Uh, and risk losing the opportunity. They just want to get what they want. And don't care how it affects you. Also, I'm sorry that happened to you. I hope your lawsuit gets some traction. They think they can get away with these things because most of the time they can't. But it's literally on Zillow. It doesn't matter, bro. Every fucking house is on Zillow. You're crazy. Oh, this is the person who's like the sex cult person. This is, a, this is the sex cult woman. Oh my God. Oh, God, she's got a good squad. She's got a good defender. And how is it doxing then? It's publicly listed info. I'm losing my mind. No, man. Uh, I don't think that they were living in the home. Uh, I doubt that they were because, like, if they were living in that home and they fucking post, like, chatter, your house might be on Zillow. You know what I mean? And a lot of times when you're living in, like, a big house and you are renting that house, your landlord might decide to put it on Zillow to sell it. Like, she might be a piece of shit. But it's still kind of, it's still, it's, it's messed up to put the, it's messed up to put the Zillow link, in my opinion, on, on the article. I agree. Shadow's defending doxing because it's someone they don't like. Lamont. No, no, no, no, no, no. The house is bought, the interior, if the house is bought, the interior isn't shown. No. Even if someone is on a rental property, it can still be on Zillow. Even if someone bought a property, it can still be on fucking Zillow. I mean, it doesn't matter. What Elon Musk is doing is ridiculous. Like, this is not a... Okay, two things can be right at the same time. I would be surprised if they posted the fucking Zillow link with, like, actual people living in it. If they did actually put the Zillow link in the article with where people was literally living in the house, that'd be kind of wild. Um, doubt that it was, like... Taylor's own personal uh, interest to do so. Um, a lot of these like hype houses are publicly available though. Like a lot of them just like everybody knows where uh, they live. It's like, um, but that's still not appropriate in my opinion, personally. However, none of these things is reason alone for Elon to just like personally ban Taylor Lorenz. Anyway, none of this matters. This was two fucking years ago. It was on the New York Times. And Taylor Lorenz has no tweets associated with this. So Elon Musk is like, oh, yeah, I didn't like what uh, you're claiming Taylor did. So I'm just going to fucking ban her off the platform. That's insane. That is insanity. Holy fuck. Dude, that's crazy. I don't know what to say about it other than that's fucking bananas, dude. It's literally fucking someone turning around and being like, hey, um... I don't like this person here. I'm going to give you a valid reason in my mind about why I don't like this person. Please. Can you deal with it? And then Elon Musk being like, yeah, I don't like her either. Let's clap her. People keep telling me my account doesn't show up in Twitter searches anymore unless they already follow me. I looked into it and it's true lol. Here's what comes up. If you search my name, but don't already follow me. Oh dude, I know what this is. Yeah. Yeah, they they hit him with the fucking sex worker ban. The sex worker shadow ban. Yeah. He got flagged. This happened to me on Instagram where like my my uh fan accounts would get my if you search my name on Instagram for a while, you would literally find my fan accounts before me. Like you would just you would have to type in my full username and it still wouldn't come up half the time. Anyway, no, you can't even do two th truth social anymore. Elon Musk is clapping truth social links too. He said 
It's pro he was just scrambling and repeating what libs of TikTok has claimed, but it's totally false. I've never in my entire history of Twitter posted a tweet that violated community guidelines or doxed anyone, nor have I doxed anyone in my stories. Reporting on someone is not doxing. Um, yeah, he's just he just went along with whatever the fuck people said to him. You know that glee, that positively elated childlike glee that the woke experience when folks who they claim to be horrible and cruel sociopaths are canceled or banned or suspended? You've seen that? Well, oddly, I'm not having that right now. In fact, I'm getting a bit concerned. Elon is losing the podcast circuit, which is wild because like they love dick riding billionaires, but even they realize like, okay, well, you know, what if I don't want to dick ride a particular billionaire at every moment? You know, will I, am I just like going to get clapped then? Anyway, at least we know, at least you can be comfortable in knowing that Reis is safe. Okay. Two guys that love free speech. Yup, mom and I cream. Masa biziz. Ulan o masanın amına koyayım be. <gülüyor> Masa biziz dedi herif ya. Erdoğan looks like shit by the way. Maybe maybe the whole like cancer thing is true. What the fuck? He looks like he lost so much weight. What the hell? Ölüyor mu lan bu? <gülüyor> İnşallah diyorlar. <gülüyor> Salaklar. <gülüyor> Uh-oh. Elon lost a big supporter today. As someone who's been mostly pro-Elon Twitter, this seems exclusionary and desperate, directly antithetical to the interconnected nature and intrinsic beauty of the internet. I mean, everything he's been doing. Yeah. Glad to have Asmongold on the fucking side of, like, normal human beings uh, who are capable of seeing an abuse of power, a clear abuse of power when it's happening. Facebook responds. <laughs> so here's Philly D. Fame free speech warrior and central Elon Musk hanging out with Jared Kushner at the World Cup. His Twitter announces huge social media crackdown and is now against the rules to link your Facebook, Instagram, Truth Social, and even giving people your link tree. At the World Cup right now.